Welcome back to Cypress Sea of Galilee, DSM and me, on this beautiful ferial day. And before the snows come, and the ice comes, and the interesting weather comes, while we still have kind of the setting suns of the summer, we wanted to just kind of share a meditation with you as you look around at a part of some of our grounds. They are kept up beautifully, as you can see. It's a lot of work, and we put the work into it. And why do we do that? Many, many times you will see the sisters out walking, and they will be by themselves, and they will be praying their rosary, or they will be stopping and looking up into a tree, and you're thinking, what, what are what they're thinking of? And maybe they saw a bird or a squirrel or a deer comes running by them. We kind of have so many beautiful natural grounds here. And I know that you do, no matter where you live, that you actually can look out at nature and just see God speaking to you of his love of you. Again, we had said this in another meditation that all this exists and only God the Creator constantly, so to speak, thanks it for doing what it's supposed to. But in reality, I become more the person I'm called to be if my heart grows to embrace the beauty everywhere it sees beauty. And this is beautiful. And so if it's the beautiful sky with the pretty clouds in it, or if it's the tops of the trees that sometimes I'll sit in our refectory where we eat and I can see out the windows and I'll just look at the tops of the trees and they'll be shaking a little bit. Sometimes the wind, sometimes the squirrel, and my mind will just go to, is anyone really thinking that right now we are living and we are breathing and if I'm in the refectory, I am eating and God has given me all these gifts or I wouldn't even be. So I think on a ferial day, it's a beautiful day to stop and just say, Lord, thank you for everything. And let me praise you and give you glory more and more as I live my life and just thank you for the gift because you did not have to create me. He did not have to create any of us. He didn't even have to create a beautiful world. He could have made it an ugly world. We had nothing to do with creation. And yet he puts so much variety. And it's like, if you've ever watched a painter, it's the finer details that show how much the painter loves this and believes in it and puts his or herself into it that makes it pop and come alive and makes it interesting. That's what God has done with our nature. That's what God has done with creation. He has put so many beautiful things in any time of day that we could be out here. We could either see the stars rising over these hills and these trees, or we could certainly see the harvest moon, which will be coming up very soon. Or we can see, again, the sunsets and the sun rises. And in the middle of the day, just the beauty of the greenery everywhere that you look, which again is a sign of hope. And I think that's a beautiful thing that nature tells us. Never give up, never despair, never be too anxious. Always trust because God is a God of hope and that he's like that because God is. And that's all we really need to know. Just love him. Signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMME.